Hi there, this is Mike with Coveta Palm Pros, and today we're going to be talking about autofills. Like in any good autofill, you actually want to have uh, reliability involved with an autofill. Uh, basically what an autofill is, is that we want to add water in every once in a while, so whether it's hooked up to a sprinkler system or even coming in from like a, like a main, uh, just to fill the pond or water feature. Uh, it's very important that we have an autofill involved uh, just to lessen the amount of maintenance and, and filling the pond at a time. So we want to actually incorporate um, whether it's a Hudson valve or this uh, compact uh, water fill valve. Uh, this actually gets mounted on the side wall and uh, the float actually uh, regulates how much water is being uh, this way how much water is actually being uh, introduced into the pond. Uh, this is actually a Hudson valve. The Hudson valve has a float, mechanical float inside, and that basically, as the water rises, it pushes up this float and it stops that, that flow of water. And so on this one in particular, we're going to get into the aquascape system where we're gonna be mounting this guy. This is basically the autofill. And this plate, this backing plate, will actually mount to the backside of the skimmer. So basic location, we actually want to have the autofill uh, basically away from any kind of piping. So normally the center is great. Uh, we've got these mounting screws that we're going to be using. And then uh, basically what I do is uh, we'll just tap into the two ends and plate, you know, the plate goes on there. I've got a thumb screw and it allows the, allows the Hudson valve to go up and down. So very, very convenient system. And then, of course, my quarter-inch tubing, I'm going to be running that to the sprinkler system uh, for it to fill. So I want to talk about placement. So the placement of this auto um, autofill, right now, this has actually been placed uh, a little bit too deep. Normally, when we, when we want to fix this, generally, it's about three-quarters of an inch down the, down the wall of it is where the float has enough water to actually shut off. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys uh, the wrong and right placement of an autofill uh, when it comes to the Hudson valve. So, and I can actually feel that uh, that float actually pop up and make a seal. So it's roughly about, right about there is about three quarters of an inch um, going up the, the side wall. So just to describe a little bit, this is basically the diaphragm that, that shuts that, uh, this Hudson valve on and off. And so what happens is that dirt and debris actually get within this diaphragm and it keeps a, really keeps a, a seal from closing. So one of the things that we want to introduce is the, uh, the Y strainer. So on any good system, we actually want to increase the reliability of the autofill. Now dirt is actually the number one cause of all failures. And so what we incorporate into a, this system is what's called a Y strainer. So Y strainer is a super fine mesh that helps uh, keep the dirt debris out of the line that feeds that, that valve. And so that'll actually keep it uh, nice and clean. We also get one with a pressure reducer. Some places like in Boulder, uh, where you have really, really high water pressure, uh, you definitely want a pressure reducing Y strainer just like this. So it's gonna be basically increasing the reliability of, of your autofill in a very, uh, very efficient way. So I hope you enjoyed this Quick Tip Tuesday and uh, we will talk to you guys soon.